Hello guys, welcome back to Josh Davis. So today we will be playing Minecraft. So today we'll be taking a look at the city so far of its progress, starting off here in the theme park. Let's go to the main entrance and I'll be telling you everything that is coming out and anything that is happening and also quite a few changes that has happened. And I'll be telling you what stuff will be going where and how what's going to happen and all this malarkey. So starting off over here, we have the main entrance light lobby to the theme park here. This theme park is nameless and you'll see why. It's obviously got a few play buttons here because this is based on YouTube and you've got a few pillaging structures here. And then obviously you come in to the main lobby area and then you'll walk out and then you'll walk out onto the plate and then with you with a fabulous view of the big ones turn around section up there and then obviously you got the little ones first drop over there so then you walk through here and then you just follow the everyone's pathway around and then you come into security to make sure everything's safe and all that and then you step out underneath the big ones turn around Yep, so now obviously here, and then here is what the Pleasure Beach Arena is going to be. As you can see, the colour scheme is very unique to play, so you mainly see blue, light blue, purple, pink and red. Knocking about the plays in buildings and stuff, such as over here. Now we have Project 12, over Project 120122 here, which only one person doing this will know what that means. But her name will remain main nameless, will remain anonymous until a few years. So guys, if I'm ready, we're, we're try, I'm trying my hardest to get this channel monetized. And then this is the project construction wall here to make sure no one can get in. Now, as you can see, so it's a massive blank space over here. Ooh. Can you split that? So obviously you do come out here, you do bend down on glass, come down onto glass. And then you ascend the first lift hill. So this consists of two lift hills and a launch, and two launches. And then as you can see, you can see the colour scheme, the main theme park colour scheme is carried on here. And then it does, when you get to the top, it does crest the top of the hill. And before snapping downwards, yep, underneath the little one, underneath the medium one, sorry. And then you do a send up. So each ride should have one of the main colour schemes visible on it, apart from one or two. Apart from a few, apart from the woodies and stuff. So that is a rule here. So and then obviously we've got hills. After hills and stuff, you can see where one of the launches is going to go there. Obviously it's very hilly down here down here and then obviously you do snap down under the medium one and then you do caress a nice air time here then you perform a little helix section here before going up another before another second lift hill for coming down and recreating a mini stealth as i like to call it because you then you come down and you snap back up into the mini stealth and there's stealth up there and then you come down here and then you do come under and you do come underground here. You're very close to the ground because the big difference in the ground section is just over here, which you can see is just there. And you do snap, so there's a quite a few hill snappy turns here, which looks very mesmerizing and very confusing. And it does look like massive pyramids, so this could and then you do you ascend up here, you bend, come down, yeah, so the, so this is it, and then you do come down, and you do bend up, and then you're in, you wee, and then you come up here, and then you do a final snap here, it's very, it's very, it's very hard to focus where you are, but when you're on the rise, it'll make more sense. And then you do come into a flat section there before ascending this much up here. This is the second point, it's also meant to mimic the big dipper. And 
then you do then you come up into the first of two launches yeah and then we dive onto the light blue section and then you emerge onto a top hat section that's what these are called here basically similar to icons and then you do come down to just see the piece that way then obviously that is also mimics as well a few more little sections and then you it's a lot of snappy turns now and again yeah yeah which is quite good and, and then you just cruise and then this ride isn't actually finished yet as you'll see because you'll just come to an abrupt end in a minute and then you come down here and then you just then you just chill and then you ascend the way all, all the way there so it's still up and then you then come down into the red launch now you can see what i mean by it comes to a abrupt end so yeah so the red is the final section of the ride and i won't be completing it here because this is just an update and now you will see what that is over there that's a teaser Ooh, what could that be could it be a brand new thing i've come up with could it be a brand or could it be a sit a very fit a very certain thing obviously you've obviously got the centerpiece which is the big one station that represents the center of the park so it's equal blocks that way that way that way and that way and it's and the big one's rule is it has some parts of it are going to have to be visible from most areas hence why it goes on the front and the bead basically the medium one and the big one are very sim as in as in there's, there's quite a few ones ones with the, with the name one in it as in it goes big one medium one little one small one tiny one yep so the medium one does the same as the big one but goes along the back of the park and the big one goes along the front of the park but yeah as you can see was there was just one block thin and now i'm going to three diamond now i'm 3ding the big one to give it that more of a more fancy look and the big one sign is now gone from lepis to dark concrete dark blue concrete steeplechase is still incomplete but as you can see everything's in place and that well another big part of the big one is i'm making it more hilly and, and more appealing so as you can see here it does dip down before entering the mid course break front which is here ah very nice and then it does carry on like that and then it does enter the helix monstrosity well the coaster monstrosity that i like to call it because you've got other coasters and stuff but you've another helix there and it's just it's a bit confusing when you obviously got bits of icon as well now now the big one does end here now it is going to go back down over there and obviously back round and in and it does carry on most rules as in that is the board of the park as you see there and then so from this part of the big one you can see the end of the park which so it does kick off the big dipper stealth and the flood blue which is over there so from the front of the park most roller coasters are allowed like, have to be visible from the big one so let's go over to project thingy to, to project 1201 2022 and, and it lags so yeah it is visible from that so that tick so that does tick it off there so this is what you have to do is you have to make sure the rides there's about two rides that aren't vis that aren't visible from the big one i think the grand national is one of them and i'll get to where the grand national is it's sort of isolated and then you can just see over the big one up there. You can just see, you can just see how long it is. Yep, and also, true facts, the big one is built to scale. I think, I hope. So if you see in the middle, it should get to 200. And... Beam, it should get to 213, which is here. But I did try and fly an owl, but there we go. So now let's fly and you'll see that you come down and you snap down here. And then it's basically vertical. And 
then it does snap back up here. And that pretty much sums up theme park 16 most of it in that. So coming up here, we do have sections, plots here ready to be installed near the theme park where most businesses will be. You will see a, a very famous clothing brand here. The, the old prison, you also got some Pancras International over there, which doesn't look like some Pancras International. We've got Josh Games over here, recreation of Squid Games, Harley stuff. I like that. Josh Games. Got that some there. You've got a local centre, then you've obviously got London Bridge Station. And then we are, and then we have started on the shore, and I really can't be bothered doing it. Probably will be the last thing that it's built. And now, this also is the M3. I'm not actually going to do the Google M for the M3, but it's the ring road and you could, the other road. The, 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 the little thin grey line you could see at the back of the theme park was the M3. And obviously you got, and you've obviously got Ikea. You've obviously got the, an Ikea here as well, which is double level. And then right here is the M, the, A, the A3M. Where the ace, and then it does come up, better come up here, and then you do ascend, and then you do the M3, which is here. Now you do have some music and stuff here. Yeah. Obviously, got the finance centre. Now, this building here is a proper, it's a very famous company. Primark. There's a few Primarks knocking about. There's one there, and there's also one there. Yep. So that pretty much sums. But then obviously, coming over the roofless IKEA, you can obviously see the one-way system that is actually in place. Then you've got the airport, which is over here, which is highly amazing and very unique, which is quite cool. And obviously, it does say IKEA quite a lot, just to make sure it's definitely an IKEA. You've got the Church of Davism to celebrate Donkey Dave. Here, see Church of Davism. Come in, and it is literally a Church of Davism. There you go. Obviously, that is very. Good. So that is a Church, a Minecraft Church. Yep. And then here we do now. This area here is the port where we've got a brand new cruise ship in construction there. You've obviously got two things, and you've obviously got the much story for Terminal 2 over there. And then it is next to Euston Station, so you just need to come out of Euston and then just go into Terminal 2 over here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. so Euston is closer to the Terminal 2 entrance. So there is a station near the Terminal 2 entrance, which is just here. So you just need to follow the parks and the libraries and everything. So, and that again, you know, guys, I'm going to end that off here. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you later. Bye bye.